so I'm just casually scrolling through Twitter and then I come across this tweet from the boy to Rami. The tweet is basically just laying out what Global is going to get over the course, let's say over a couple of months. Like, oh, oh, over the next few months, this is exactly what JP, or Global, sorry, is going to get. Basically at the start of January, before Sayende. Firstly, we've got the New Year banner, the Step Up banner. Honestly, that's going to be a pretty good summon for most people. For me personally, I'm going to skip it. The reason I'm going to skip it is is because I've got most of the units, if not all of the units that I really want. So for me, that banner's not really going to be worth it. But if you don't have Piccolo Jr., you don't have Tech World Tournament Goku, you don't have God Goku, you don't have the LR Bulbans and things like that, it would be a decent place to summon. But for this banner specifically, I think if you want to summon, then summon. But if you feel like you've got everything you want, then just skip it and save. And then with regards to everything else, I would say skip everything else. Like everything you see here is an easy skip. Trunks, had a, what? Trunks, but firstly, Trunks is not even out on global yet. Huh? Huh? I mean, obviously I know that. I'm acting surprised. I'm not actually surprised because I know it. But why is Trunks not out? Like, why is Trunks still not out? What, 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 why are they saving him? I don't, I'm not complaining about this. I'm just questioning it. Why is Trunk still not out? Not only is he garbage, not only is the Gohan garbage, but the entire banner from what I remember was pretty, pretty bad. Although to be fair, I don't remember exactly what's on it. But it doesn't have, actually, it doesn't have World Tournament or Goku, Piccolo Jr. or God Goku. So more than likely the banner is garbage. Next we've got Omega Shinron and not only is he trash, STR Carnival Goku is really unimpressive these days, so that's gonna be an easy skip. Oh, but it's double rates, I don't care, like, I, I do not care, I don't, even if there's discounts, I don't recommend it, even if there's discounts, I will completely avoid it, I don't wanna catch anyone summoning on any of these banners, in fact, if any of these banners have discounts, they are still easy skips. The only place you should even think about summoning is the step up banner. But me personally, I'm going to skip that. Although, for a lot of people, it would be a really good place to summon. I won't lie. And then we've got the T.O.P. Androids. Again, garbage banner, garbage units. Mm. The Androids, they're not, they're not garbage, but they're not that impressive and it's an easy skip. Exact same thing for Ribrian. Actually, to be fair, with Ribrian, Bulma was on her banner. So, low key, if you don't have LR Bulma, if there's discounts, I wouldn't blame you for summoning there. But to be honest, even if there is discounts, I wouldn't recommend it. And if there's not discounts, then absolutely not. Like the only banner here, well, not including the stepper banner, are out of the rest. The only banner that I would even consider, so not, not me personally, but if I was, let's say if, if I didn't have any of the units, the only banner that I would consider summoning on would be the, the Ribrian banner, and that's only if there's discounts, and even if there's discounts, I don't recommend it, because Ribrian herself is really unimpressive, it's just that LR Bulma is really good. And then we've got Gohan and Piccolo. Out of all the units we see here, Gohan and Piccolo is the best, but that doesn't mean he's that impressive, he's really not that impressive, he's... He's not even a... He's barely... Actually, I don't think he's a top 5 TUR. And if he is, he's just, he's just barely that. I don't think he's a top 5 TUR. He's not, the more that I think about it. He's definitely not. So, I mean, yeah, for the brand new door Fest, for him not, not to be even a contender for a top 5 TUR is very unimpressive. And their banner unit, I don't even know how good it is, which just shows how bad it is. So, yeah. And then we've got Saiyan Day. Honestly, I don't know what Saiyan Day is going to be. The thing is, but don't forget, after Saiyan Day in April, more than likely in April, we're gonna get Super Saiyan 3 Goku and Herudagon. And I'm honestly probably gonna skip that. Obviously, I don't know what the banners look like. I don't know how good the units are because they are not out yet. The Super Saiyan 3 Goku and Herudagon. We can expect it in April, but I, honestly, I'm telling you now, I'm more than likely gonna skip it. And I recommend that everyone skips it. Even on JP, by the way, I recommend you skip it, especially on JP, considering the anniversary is around the corner. And then we've got a Saiyan Day before 
a bit before April is saying day, and we know nothing about that. We actually, I'll take that back. All we know is that God Goku will be on this banner. Super Saiyan 4 Goku will be on the banner. We'll get a brand new banner unit, and we'll get a brand new LR. Oh, not LR, sorry, the, 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 the brand new door confessed TGW. So that could be a decent place to someone, but if I'm being honest, the, the more that I think about it, I'm probably going to be skipping a lot of banners. Not only will I be skipping all of these, there's probably going to be a lot more banners that I'm going to skip as well. We'll see what happens though. Like, things are looking so bad early January on Global. Now, even the truth has commented on it. What the truth said is, I am so sorry Global players. What he's reacting to is something that Rami put up. Which banner are you most looking forward to on Global out of these? And not a single one of them is even remotely. Like I'm, I'm not, I'm not looking forward to any of them. The only thing I'm looking forward to is having easy, easy skips because I will not be spending a single dragon stone on e on any of these banners. And even if there's discounts, I won't be spending any dragon stones. And even if, even if all of these units were put onto the same banner, you best believe I would skip that banner, no questions asked. But and even if they were all on the same banner and there were discounts. If, let, let's say there's 30 featured units, I would still not summon on that banner because it's not worth it, not for me personally. I mean, at that point you could argue it's worth it technically, but no, I, I, I would not summon and I would suggest that everyone skips it as well. Because I don't think any of these units are worth it. But let's move on. Here we've got a tweet from The Boy The Truth. So there's the official announcement. The ninth anniversary will not be synced it will not be on global at the same time because the, the truth is reacting to the tweet or the picture over here but i gave a response to this tweet well the picture my response is this image that everyone is talking about like this changes nothing people are completely overreacting to this global could still celebrate the ninth anniversary at the same time because all this tweet says is global's anniversary is in july Y you don't say. Global's anniversary, like the date of it, is not going to change all of a sudden. Global's anniversary will always be in July. If the games were synced up, I assume Dokkan would celebrate both anniversaries. So this tweet means nothing. So, but, but what, what, what I will say is, if Global was going to celebrate the 9th anniversary at the same time, they would have announced it here. In other words, what I'm saying is, people are right. Global most likely will not celebrate the anniversary at the same time. But this sentence means absolutely nothing. Because all that sentence means is Global's anniversary will be in July. Which will always be the case even if if the games were caught up. So I, I don't get why people are overreacting to this. But let's move on. Maybe I'm just trying to sound clever. I don't even know. I think I made sense but it doesn't matter. Um... Yeah, honestly, when it comes to this tweet, I'm not even gonna lie. We do need some fusions that don't fuse, that don't transform. I just want a standalone fusion. For example, give me a Gogeta Blue, standalone. We still don't have that. Give me a Vegito Blue, standalone. Super Gogeta, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. Give me all of these fusions without fusing or transformations, and I will be hyped for that. This is a tier list of Dokkan Fest Easy ATURs. From the boy the truth is there anything that i really want to comment on because when i first saw this the first thing that i wanted to say is where is super saiyan 4 vegeto but then i, I remembered super saiyan 4 vegeto is not a door confessed so he doesn't count uh, for this list i'm surprised that zamasu is number three below beerus i would move zamasu up to be honest because where are you using beerus like, beerus might technically be better but where are you gonna use him to be honest, I've still not watched this video, so I need to watch it before I give a proper reaction. But for now, let's move on. Which easy A is better? It was a matter. It was a matter because both of them are trash. I did see someone response, uh, respond saying that Trunks is better because at least he's got teams, which is fair enough to be honest. What type do you think the New Year Dokkan festivals will be? So this person is predicting Goku will be STR and Harudagon will be Tech. I've got no issues with that. Um. Oh yeah, don't forget, the banner that is coming up on Global, the Christmas banner, these three units will be featured on the banner, 
but you won't be able to get a Goku with coins, but you will be able to get the 8th anniversary LRs with coins. So if you want to get either of them, it could be worth it. I don't have the boost on Good Reward, but I don't really care. I'm not going to get them with coins. I'm going to save my coins. And the GT Duo, I've already got them with one dupe, so I'm not really too fussed about getting any copies of them either. Minato is sick. Look at the thumbnail. I'm not sure what is sick about this, but fair enough. The only thing I'll say is with Chain Battle. It's sad to see it go. I was finally, finally starting to somewhat kind of like it. And then as soon as I start to kind of like it a little bit, they take it away. So, I mean, it is what it is. To be honest, I don't mind that they, they are getting rid of it. But get rid of Baton Pattern. Get rid of World Tournament. Like, but fair enough if you want to get rid of Chain Pattern. But there's other priorities. There's other things they need to get rid of first. Or at least revamp. And we're gonna end with this. I've already discussed this and we're gonna discuss it again. Because this is, in the words of the truth, the worst lineup ever. And this is everything that is coming to Global over the next few months. So, yay. I give it to fair. It is easy skip. So that's what I will say. Let's do a quick subscriber challenge. If you guys agree with me that all of these units over here are not just skips, but easy skips, then you have to subscribe because that is the challenge. With that said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, then do subscribe, especially if you just feel that challenge because that is indeed the challenge. Also, do leave a like and comment because those things do help out. With that said, thanks for watching and I will see you guys next time. ta, -ta adios, and bye-bye. At least we've got the Shinron event to look forward to. To look forward to, which is something I guess by.